hello this is for aquarius sun moon and our rising or venus okay so if you have that in your placements or if you are somebody who felt drawn to this reading or if it showed up on your for you page then obviously you know the spirits most likely put it there for you to see on purpose as a sign that's what i believe um but you do need to use your intuition as we always say because this is a general reading and not a personal. So still use your intuition to know what if any parts of this message are for you. Also this reading is timeless, which means it doesn't matter when I created or posted this video. What matters is when it showed up on your page, when you needed to see it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by taking this Golden Girls deck here and asking spirits Spirits, what is this reading going to be about? Is it about money, love, career, family, friends? Can you give me some cards that might clue me in on what this reading is about? Let's just get into it, straight into it. This card apparently wanted to fall out, so let's take it. Hmm. First card out. The world. Nice. This is about you going into a new cycle, ending one cycle and going into a new cycle and just having it all, having the world. Dorothy is holding the world here. I mean, it could even involve, involve travel, but I will tell you if more signs come out about that, but definitely you're gonna feel on top of the world. Good things are coming for you in this new cycle. Okay, so what else, spirits? What else? Can you tell me what? What is this about? Is this money, love, romance? What is this about? Um, if though, well, we'll take them. We'll take them. I think they wanted to come out. Let me take a drink here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Nice. So this is about love. We have the two of cups. That looks like Rose, RIP Betty White. And a man having a mutual love. So the two of cups, that's what it's all about. It's this equal love. You know, it's not one-sided. So you're going to go into a new cycle when your love life we have the five of swords. So in the past, it might have felt like you were arguing with somebody or there might have been conflict, but that's going to change with this five of uh, five, five. Five is in the middle of a cycle, which means it's going to change or can change. But with these other cards, it's definitely going to change. You're going from the five of swords into the world with the two of cups and the ace of pentacles. So this is the divine bringing you this big offer. So this reading could be about money and love. I'm definitely getting love with the two of cups. I mean, we'll look more, but it also could be money with the ace of pentacles, or it could just be that that two of cups offer is going to be just a spectacular offer with somebody and notice the colors in these two cards too. The colors are very similar, even though one is a pentacles and one is a cup and that has a similar color too. Like all three of them have like a lot of pink, even though they're actually all different suits. You got cups, pentacles, and swords. And then I notice here, these people are on a beach. There's lots of water back here. You know, I did a reading recently where I, there was like three cards where they were on a beach. And so, and even this here, there's palm trees, star, there's palm trees or sand. So I feel like somebody in my collective, in the collective that we're doing readings for, is going to be going on a trip, is going to either, either they live near the beach or they're going to the beach, something with palm trees. Because that, like I said, that came out in another reading and it was strong. And I'm already sensing that's here with these two pictures. 
And like I said, these pictures here look kind of like a sunset. And this is the first time I'm using this deck. But so where there was this Five of Swords, it's gonna be replaced with a new cycle. Going into a new cycle, we're gonna feel, you're going to feel like you are on top of the world. You're just gonna feel like you have it all. It's gonna be this mutually beneficial situation, probably a love situation. I mean, it could be with the pedicles, a, a money situation or maybe both, but we're gonna pull more cards to find out more. I said, we have the star. That means, you know, it's destiny. It's written in the stars. We got Blanche over here. She's uh, pouring a one cup into the pond or the water and then one cup into the land. So this is also about, you know, being balanced between like a spiritual aspect and staying grounded or staying balanced between your emotions and staying grounded with just, you know, your everyday 3D life. But those are amazing cards so far, Aquarius. So whatever this is, this new cycle is definitely being protected and facilitated by the divine. This is part of your destiny. It's written in the stars. I believe it's, you know, I definitely believe it's a love offer, maybe money as well. So we're actually going to use some love decks then to find out what are you talking about? We have the True Love Messages Oracle here. So let's get into that deck. I don't know if this is a past person or a new person. A lot of my readings lately have been kind of ending up twin flame readings, but trying to keep in mind not to just assume and let it come out. We will find out. If spirit decides to keep it general, it could be that it's gonna mean different things for different people. And you're supposed to use your intuition to tell. What is this Two of Cups? Can you tell me more about this Two of Cups? Still hoping, somebody's still hoping. So either this is a person from your past that's kind of hanging on to the idea of you or it's just somebody that's always liked you and um, they're not ready though. So they have feelings for you, but either they haven't come back into your life or if they're new or maybe just somebody who knows you and hasn't spoken up, it's just that they're not ready to, but they're still hoping that there's a chance between the two of you to either rekindle things or, yeah. So we have thinking of you, this person thinks about you a lot. What was I going to say? Or somebody who's either, either wanting to come back into your life or has been checking you out and wanted to approach you, but it's just not time yet. They're not ready yet, but they're definitely thinking of you. They're missing you. So probably somebody from your past missing you so much and fluttering heart. So you give them heart palpitations. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you... Make their heart skip a beat. They're always thinking about you. You're always with them. They always feel you. Let's get a different deck. more about this love situation what is this love situation coming in for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising I go on the deck and give it a knock to clear any energy from past readings so we have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it and then there's a picture, nice passionate picture on the back. So you are drawing in passion, passionate situations. We have embraced. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. 
So maybe a twin flame reading if, you know, missing pieces, like a puzzle piece. Maybe one more from this deck. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, so this is somebody who really loves you. So I don't think, I mean, I don't know, this could be a crush, I guess, but probably a past person with this miss you or somebody who used to be in your life and, you know, has been at a distance. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it will all work out for the best. So trust the universe. You know, what is a reflection? A reflection is a mirror. A mirror is what? Twin flames. So I'm getting a little bit of twin flame energy so far. Like I said, they're always kind of go there, but I'm just giving it a chance to come out. Let's find out what is this Ace of Pentacles? Put this over here. Just trying to see like is this love and money or is this just love but whatever the case is this situation and and whatever's going on with this person is your destiny it is written in the stars that star card provides hope it is the pentacles like i said that's something that the divine is is facilitating is coordinating is working on so whatever situation in the past where you might have had disagreements, arguments, also this is somebody winning at all costs. It's like the other people have walked away and this person's like, yeah, I won. But then they're like, but what did I win? I'm sitting here alone. My loved one or my friend or whoever it was is, you know, walking away alone. But now I'm here alone. And I've got all these swords, you know, but no love. Like I said, five means the situation can change, or in this case, will change. I think, I feel like. What is this Ace of Pentacles spirit? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Money or love, or what is what's going on with that? Can you tell me more about that? Okay, so this is a twin flame situation. Out of this whole deck, there's two major cards that really speak twin flames. And this one here, Four of Wands, and what is this? Four of Cups. Four of Wands is one of them. So out of two cards, one popped out. Out of three cards that were, out of three cards that were pulled, there's two cards that speak twin flame, and I've got one of them. So, you know, I kind of know, I knew it's just like, they all kind of go to twin flame. This isn't, the other card in my main deck would be like marriage and stability. And this could still be that with that tent back there. But I also feel a more free um, energy. Like look how they're kind of celebrating and they're just very free. So, and I said, what is this Ace of Pentacles? So we're clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, you still could have money coming to you. But that's not what this reading's about. This reading is, I feel like right now it's more about, um, it's more about the love and the feelings that you have with this twin flame person, whether you've met them or not, probably somebody from your past with the miss you. And then we have the four of cups. So this is like somebody who either can't see what the divine is, is bringing them, maybe even has already presented them because they're too busy focused on these empty cups, or it's somebody who's sitting here looking at their empty cups going, oh, I don't have any, I don't have any emotions. I don't have any love from anybody. I don't have anything going on. And then the divine comes in with a cup and says, here you go. I'm bringing this to you. So I said, you know, I clarified, what is this? You know, and again, this is the divine. So both of these cards are representative of the divine bringing something in. So that's synchronistic. That both of those cards are symbolizing the divine bringing something in. So just when you think nothing's happening, all of a sudden, here's this offer. Like I said, or it could be you, that you're not seeing this offer because you're too busy worried about what you don't have. We also have Page of Swords. 
which is the pages are messenger cards. I also feel like this particular person here, when we look at this imagery, she's staring at this book and she's studying. So this could just be you studying spiritual knowledge, but I think it's this other person maybe studying you and having a light and having a light bulb moment, or they're maybe studying spiritual knowledge and having their spiritual awakening and having a light bulb moment. And that light bulb moment, it's like lifts them up. It's also, they're balancing as well on the sword. So um, balancing out what they want to do, but also, you know, wanting the, that sword is boundaries, you know, so they're balancing on that. So like, you know, maybe balancing wanting to come in with the fact that they're still trying to protect themselves. Still feeling guarded. Pages are not quite kings. So if this person comes in, you know, it's like I said, it's a messenger card. Um, in my other deck, it's, you know, hey, this person's checking you out. So I feel like with this card, it's like they're kind of spying on you. They're studying you, trying to figure out the best way to come in. Maybe things happen in the past and they don't want to screw it up again. So they're taking their time to, to study either you or spiritual knowledge. And like I said, it's with these light bulbs, it gives them this light bulb moment, this aha moment. And that's why now all of a sudden, you know, the five of swords is the thing of the past. And this person wants to come in with this big, beautifully shining, bright, abundant offer. Again, it is written in the stars. It is your destiny. What is the star card, Pure? Can you tell us more about that? What is the star card? So this is a beautiful reading so far. Totally cool. As I'm shuffling, the lover's card wants to come out on the bottom, but we're going to keep it in there and see if it comes out. That would be the other twin flame card. Like I said, I have two. One is the four of wands and one is the lovers. The four of wands is a twin flame card because there's like always usually a depiction of like four wands. And so it's like 11. They look like 11, 11 in some, in some depictions. The lover's card is a twin flame card because it's like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and it's ruled by Gemini, so twins. So those two are often thought of that. What is the star card though? What's coming in? What is the star card? What's coming in for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or whoever's watching? Whoever felt drawn to this reading, we have King of Pentacles. So this person wants to come in stable. What else? Secure, maybe he's maybe even financially stable. This person's, you know, that king energy sits in his power. But I think most of all, what I get from that, like I said, is that he wants to come in with something stable, and that's because they had a spiritual awakening, which falls in line with the twin flame story. It's the whole we had a five of swords, we had the runner chaser phase. You did your work, you surrendered, and now they're in their, you know, they're in their spiritual awakening phase. So that's what this probably is. This is probably them having a spiritual awakening and also seeing that you've had yours and loving that and just having that aha moment. But this is, you know, these people are asleep and they're coming out of this sleep like they were dead. They're coming out of this sleep. And then we have the owl and it's just very like mystical, you know, with all that bright light. So I feel like that's like uh, wisdom from, from the divine. So this person's receiving wisdom of the divine and that's why, you know, they're, they're, they're maturing. They're becoming more stable here with this King of Pentacles. As the story, the Twin Flame story kind of goes. So, but you need to have some strength to keep going, you know, just have courage, have strength. She's tamed that dragon, tamed that beast. And she's using her magic. She's using magic, which is also your mindset and your willpower and, you know, just your mind, manifestation. So taming that dragon, 
your, your own dragon, which then they're your mirror, so it tames their dragon, their beast inside. And we have Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is this person wants to bring in, you know, this offer to you. But the thing about the Knight is that it's the slowest card in the deck. I mean, it's incredibly sm slow moving energy. But the reason why is so that it can be stable long term with this King of Pentacles. So the universe or this person is taking forever so that it can be stable. But right now, with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like this girl is like really kind of independent. She's abundant on her own. She's independent, but also what I see is she's studying this book. So we have two cards now with somebody studying a book, which to me is that spiritual knowledge. Why? Because they had a spiritual awakening. So this is probably both of you, not just them. We also have a butterfly, which means, you know, this is, this is what creates the transition, is the spiritual awakening, is this waking up, receiving divine inf information, and, and you go through a change. You know it. If you're the divine feminine, you've gone through it, and now it's the masculine's turn. You're probably still changing, still blowing up, but it's, you know, when you have a spiritual awakening, all you want to do is, like, be spiritual and study spiritual shit. And it's like nobody around you understands because they're not going through that. It's almost like you're a totally different person, night and day. We have the death card, which is transition, transformation. But also, for some reason, this picture always reminds me of twin flames. I guess because of the flames and it's because it's a man and a woman. And, you know, one's kind of the angel. Yin and yang, like one's an angel and one's, you know, well, one's got an angel with wings on fire, so which might be like more the devil. I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, it just reminds me of Twin Flames. It just does. I don't know how to describe it. But. So it's definitely a Twin Flame reading, and this is talking about, you know, going into this transformation. It's just, you know, and then Ace of Cups on the bottom. It's that overwhelming, and then look, there's not, you know, that's no more. So Ace of Cups, so I do feel like I was supposed to take that. So we have Ace of Pentacles, now we have Ace of Cups. So yeah, this is beautiful reading so far. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. However, you know, I don't know what the time frame is on this. So I'm going to stop this part of the reading here and I'm going to go into an extended. And in that extended, we're going to look at what's going to happen with this particular couple, whoever this is for, in the next six months to a year or sooner. And just kind of, you know, try to decide, is this healed union, is all these good cards, is that coming up in the next six months to a year or sooner, or is that after that? Um, try to get a little bit of a narrowing down on time frame, because this could be 20 years from now, for all I know. Probably not. I mean, I wouldn't assume the spirits would be telling us something that's going to happen 20 years from now, but they're just letting you know that you are going into a new cycle, that the time of these arguments is will soon be behind you. And that you're going into this more healed energy. But like I said, we're going to dig into it. We're going to find out what's coming up in the next six months to a year or sooner. That will also tell us if there's any more runner chaser energy to expect. And we'll pull some charms and maybe get some advice cards as well. So if you want to watch the extended, go down to the description box below and click on the link. It will take you over to my Patreon. Just so you know, that is uh, $5.55. But that's not just for one reading. That's for the whole entire period that you pay for to have access to all of the readings I've done in that tier up until this point and all the readings that I'm going to, that I'll be doing going forward for that time frame that you pay for. So, you know, if you want to keep it monthly, you can, if not, you can cancel anytime. So you could pay the $5.55 and just cancel immediately. And so you just have access for however many days left of the period. Um, that's for that one tier. I have other tiers. I have Twin Flame weekly readings. I also have Too Hot for TikTok. You can go on my Patreon and check those out. I have live access. And then I have some bundles where you can get like a bunch of different tiers bundled together at a cheaper rate. Um, so I've got all that. Check that out. Um, also, if by chance you've seen this and you do think this is for you or you want to make sure and you want me to... Do a reading where I am centered on just your energy, you and your person. Instead of it being a general collective reading, then you can certainly purchase a personal reading from me on my website. The link is also down below in the description box, but it's www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. And on there, I also have two decks that I created that are twin flame decks that I have for sale. You can check those out too. You can 
on the first page of my website, there is like the links to my TikTok and my Instagram. Um, make sure you're following me on there as well. I do shorts on those. And um, yeah, so I think that's all I have to say, but I will see you in the extended. Blessed be. Oh, before I go, if you could like, share, subscribe, and comment. All those things help me help other people and also help me to focus um, or pick up your energy for future readings. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you.